In this video, we're going to talk about the range function in Python and its three scenarios. And also, we are going to mention a very important note about the float values in the range function. So first of all, let's talk about the first scenario, which the range function takes two arguments. For example, suppose that we want to create a range of numbers from one all the way up to 10. So for that, we simply type range and we pass one and 11, not 10. Why? Because this second value is exclusive so when we want to have a range of numbers from 1 to 10 here we should type 11 not 10 why because this is exclusive it is not going to include this number and now for example if i store this in a variable and if i print the x variable and if i run a code you can see we can't see the values of this range of numbers so the question is how can we see the values of this range of numbers the actual values so in order to do so for example we can convert x to a list and after that, if I run the code, you can see now we can see the values. Now let's talk about the second scenario, which the range function only takes one argument. For example, if I pass something like this range 11, in that case, it is going to consider the starting point as zero. So it is actually equivalent to typing something like this range zero all the way up to 11. And as we know, 11 is exclusive, not inclusive. So actually it is going to create a range of numbers from zero all the way up to 10. So if I run the code, you can see you get these values. Now let's talk about the third scenario, which the range function takes three arguments. So the first one is the starting point. The second one is the ending point. I mean, this top. So for example, if I pass 11, it means 10 because actually this is exclusive not inclusive and the third value is the step so here we want the values from 0 all the way up to uh, 10 with a step of 2 so 0 to 4 6 all the way up to 10 so now if I run a code you can see we get these values now let's talk about a very important note remember that in the range function you cannot pass float values for these arguments for example you cannot pass 0 0.5 for this step so if i run a code you can see we get an error because none of these values none of these arguments can be float so now the question is so if i want to have a range of float numbers for example here if i want to create a range of numbers from 0 all the way up to 10 with a step of 0 0.5 so what is a solution? What should I do? The solution is to use other functions in Python, not the range function. For example, in Python, there is a package called NumPy. And using that package, you can have a function called a range, which you can use that for this purpose. If you want to create a range of float numbers, for example, if you want to have a step of 0 0.5 or whatever. Anyway, we have another playlist for this NumPy package. Anyway, so remember that using range function, you cannot pass any float values for its arguments. This was one of the videos of a step-by-step -step tutorial playlist of Python. You can find a link to that playlist in the description below. And also we have other playlists for other topics, which you can find them on the channel page.